The other night I had this dream of a woman mapping prayer lines. And it reminded me of our Aboriginal ancestors and how they mapped song lines, which connected them with the earth and with the dream time. And I think that woman was me in the dream. And then I was really inspired by the tea we had, Julie and Sharon at the Watershed Cafe. And this little experience I had afterwards of losing my earring. So I wanted to share this poem with you. It's called Prayer Lines. I lost an earring in Osceola. Raven saw a glint on the pavement, dove down, scooped it up, and flew on black wings over the frozen river, a silver prayer in his beak. Meanwhile, down below, three women sit, drinking tea and talking story, speaking the sacred truths into existence. Refuge. Ceremony. Sovereignty. In the blue sunlight, by the frozen river, we reach our roots deep and tug Mother Earth a little closer so our humanness can relax, breathe in this time together, this precious connectedness. I ask you this with all my heart. Overhead, raven soars into the sun, rainbow slicking the black ink of his wings, soars over the frozen river with a throat full of song and a gift made of silver for his mate. When moon rises over the water, she sees a new glint among the twigs in Raven's nest, and she smiles, knowing her sister's prayers are answered. <laughs>